we know that magnitude of acceleration is rate of change of speed and given by formula a equal to v minus u by t v minus u equal to 0 means there is no change in the speed of an object that means there is no acceleration if i say that object is still in accelerated motion do you know how stay with me and learn the concepts of acceleration in most easy and interactive way Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity. It has magnitude and direction. So change in velocity means change in its magnitude or change in its direction or maybe change in both magnitude and direction. So let's take the first example. Here a car is speeding up. Its speed is continuously increasing. Because of this increase in the speed, the passengers in the car or the driver of the car feel a force which push them against their seats. And this phenomena is happening because of acceleration. Acceleration for a car traveling in a straight line path is equal to the rate of increase of a speed. That means how much is speed it increasing per unit time. That is what the acceleration is. Now let's see the another example. You are driving a car and suddenly you saw a red light and you took it and you stop the car. In this case, car is from a speed it coming to stop. So there is a change, there is a decrease in the speed. Because of that, you feel a force which pushing you forward, pushing you towards the steering wheel. And that is happening because of deacceleration. Deacceleration for a straight line path motion is the rate of decrease in a speed. A speed is nothing but the magnitude of your velocity. So how much speed or magnitude of velocity is decreasing per unit time or how much change is happening there? And that is known as a deacceleration. Now let's see the another example where we check the effect of change in direction. In the third case, you are driving a car with constant speed and you are approaching a turn. At this point, you are turning your steering wheel to take the turn. During this process, you will feel a force which is pushing you outwards. And this is happening because of a phenomena known as centripetal acceleration. So even if the change in speed is zero, it's still because of change in direction, you feel the acceleration. And this is known as centripetal acceleration, as I just told you. Now the question is, when there is no change in speed, only direction is changing, how I can find out this centripetal acceleration? One of the method of do it is vectors. So here we will represent the car velocity with vector here, which is an orange vector and velocity is V1. So here orange vector is not only showing the magnitude of velocity, but it also shows the direction. During the time of turning at another location, the car velocity V2 is represented by green vector. Okay. So the change in velocity, the change in velocity we can find out by these vectors. So here OA is vector V1 and the vector V2 is represented by AB. Now to find out the acceleration, we need to find out the change in velocity. Now change in velocity is V2 minus V1. So we have to find out the minus V1 vector, the opposite vector to V1. So minus V1 vector is BC, which is parallel to OA, but in opposite direction. So this is minus V1 vector. So to find out the resultant vector, we have to connect A to C. So AC is your 
vector which shows the acceleration of the car because of the direction change and it's represented by a equal to v2 minus v1 right so and it's working towards direction ac the most common example of acceleration because of change in direction is given by an object which is traveling in a circular path with constant speed this type of motion is known as uniform circular motion if we find out the acceleration as different points during this circular motion for example point a b and c and d in this diagram at the point a when this object passes through point a the acceleration is in the direction of a o when it passes through b the acceleration is b o means it is always toward the center of the circle in any location of this object on this circle so this acceleration is known as centripetal acceleration in this constant speed motion this is happening because of continuous direction change now it is a time for three conceptual questions for you to work on you can give your answers in your comments to check the answers to these questions the link is provided in our description box i hope you would have enjoyed this session and if you think you have learned something new today then please click like button and subscribe us for similar type of videos in our next video we will be talking about some other concept of acceleration thank you for watching see you next time bye